Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jim Shades and I'm gonna go for a quick shave today. Um, there is a meetup happening uh, in California. Um, I think it's hosted by uh, Sword Sharp David and I believe uh, Peter Chakalis from a and &E is gonna be there. So be excited to see a couple, a couple of the wet shavers and uh, yeah, just have a good time over there. But before that, I gotta shave. So on about a couple days ago, two or three, I don't remember. I think it's two, but um, yeah, it's gonna be kind of a unprepared shape. I'm just gonna shave with what is on the table. So let's get at it. There we go. So as for the brush, I'm gonna be going with the Wolf Whiskers brush with a cashmere fan cashmere knot. Wolf Whiskers here and the soap. I've been trying to. Oh, I, I killed the last soap which was uh, Matty Lindholm's Lime Soap. That was a good one. But I did think uh, I developed some kind of reaction to it because uh, the mustache area would kind of tingle every time I used it. But I used it all up, so that's that. And next one up is gonna be this one. This is Selisky Soaps Citrus. I believe they are not producing any shaving soaps anymore, but they used to, and they're more of a kind of a skincare uh, body body soap, hand soap, lotion kind of company nowadays. I haven't followed them too much, but this was one of their um, original soaps, if I recall. Uh, it's just a citrus scent, very very light citrus, but it works for me. I don't mind lightly scented soaps, but yeah, let's get on along with it. Uh, I'm just gonna wet the face, and since this is a sample stuffed into a little tube I'm just gonna apply to the face and also I've developed this um, alternate method where I just apply the soap to the brush like this and then I uh, lather it up in a bowl so that I can add more water to it but uh, yeah I will uh, let me get along let me get let's get going here <clears throat> Wet the face with the soap. <clears throat> Apply it a bit. Don't need to apply a heavy amount, but enough to be there. All right, that should be fine. <clears throat> As for the brush, I'm gonna wet it under water. <clears throat> Alright, it is dripping a bit and I'm just gonna apply it to the soap like this just for about 10 seconds or so. <clears throat> just so that it has some soap in the bristles. Alright. Get all the rest of the residue <clears throat> off and I'm just gonna <clears throat> Start a little tiny stream of water in the sink, and they're gonna whip up whatever is here. Very airy. <clears throat> there is not a lot in the bristles, so <clears throat> it's gonna whip up a kind of a bubbly, foamy lather. <clears throat> but this is this is not what I'm using. I'm using the soap on the face. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. I'm just adding hydration to the brush here and some foamy suds. And then I'm gonna mix it in on the skin here. This is what I've been doing with the soap. Um, <clears throat> I don't like to face lather with shaving shave sticks because they kind of gum up on the skin and it's really hard to add the water. <clears throat> but I can add water to the bowl here, mix it up with the brush, <clears throat> and then use that. So I have a bit of a watery lather 
mixed into the brush and apply that to the skin. <clears throat> Add some more water to the bowl, mix it up. <clears throat> apply it to the skin. I'm just repeating this step. A little more water. until I'm at a desirable state of lather. <clears throat> As you can see, the lather is being more hydrated. <clears throat> it's almost there where I want. A little more water, we should be good here. <clears throat> and by the end, um, Left with a bit more well worked in lather here. Because I'm mixing in the, <clears throat> the foamy part with the soap on the skin. So, <clears throat> kind of a hybrid face lather, bowl lather session. But that'll do it. Get a little more water on the brush. It's going to paint it on the skin. I do like a very hydrated leather. All right, that should be good. <clears throat> Plenty on the brush here. <clears throat> All right, and today I'm just gonna go for a de eraser shape. Um, I do have some <clears throat> edges to test, but just for time's sake. Uh, <clears throat> Gonna go with the de eraser. This one is the Windsor Pro Aluminum, uh, aluminium or SP90 with a Astra green blade. <coughs> it's on its third or fourth use, but uh, let's get going here. First pass. It's a very smooth razor for me. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, the angle is pretty intuitive. And As you can see, it's kind of a autopilot kind of razor. You can see some of the stubbles gathered there, but yes, yeah, super <coughs> quick and easy first pass and already took down most of the growth. Yeah. <coughs> As I say, I'm as I said, going for a <clears throat> quicker shave today. <clears throat> the lather is worked in nicely. <clears throat> this uh, Selisky soaps, <clears throat> it's not a vegan soap, but it kind of acts like one because uh. There's no tallow or, I don't think there's any animal fat, but there is a Tessa silk. Which classifies it as a, or because of that, you can't classify it as a vegan soap or vegetal soap. Is an animal product. The soap works well. <coughs> I do think the residual slickness is not the best, but fairly easy to work with.
Takes a good amount of water. something going against the grain so um, it might be time to change out the blade I actually can't use an Astra or pretty much any blade after the third use at least going against the grain I can do with and across <coughs> easily but for against the grain once I go over a third use it becomes really uh, tuggy but uh, yeah so far, so good. I mean, at this point, I'm pretty much <clears throat> as close as a full straight razor shave. <clears throat> now, once I do this pickup pass, <clears throat> <clears throat> it gets me really close, and I think um, because of the angle that I use with the eraser and It's really hard to replicate that with a straight razor, but they both have their uses. <laughs> Look at that. That is a quick shave. I think the shave was uh, under 10 minutes or so. I know at this point it's 12 minutes, but <clears throat> before talking all that, I think the shave went about 10 minutes, which is uh, as fast as I'd like. Um, I do feel a little something over here. I think when I went against the grain, I cut something. Uh, but I don't see any blood. This might be a slight irritation down there. And that is a sign to change out the blade for next time. But <clears throat> other than that, what a great shave. Easy, quick and easy. All right, let's uh, chase it with the Gillette Cool Wave. After shave. Ah. Very nice. Slight sting here and there. But a very nice result. Actually, yeah, that's uh that's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, and uh <clears throat> I'll leave you guys there. Just a nice easy shave before uh, meeting, up, meeting up with a couple wet shavers. So uh, let's go over the shave really quick. Siliski Soaps Citrus with a Wolf Whiskers brush. Above the tie, Windsor Pro SB90, Astro Green blade, and chased it with Gillette Cool Wave after shave. Well, I almost used it all. So um, yeah, I think after this, I might um, use up my Aqua Velva or some other after shave that I have. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's Tim Shaves and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.